Today we're at ICAST 2021 in Orlando, Florida. I am here at the Hobie booth. Today is the water demo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out that links right over there from the test drive because I've been getting a lot of suggestions, comments, DMs from you guys asking me what I think about it. So today's gonna be the on water demonstration. Let's get at it. All right, man, opening day, here we go. First one on lineup is the Mirage Lynx, brand new for 2021, only weighs 45 pounds. All the specs are gonna be right over here. You guys help yourself. I am super interested in this one right here. Oh, wow. What is the weight capacity on this thing? Should I be carrying these? Uh, All right, we're yeah, we at 275. Right uh, one really person at 275. Oh, okay, wow. one person at 275. Uh, that's person at 275. Gotcha. Total capacity is at 350. Uh, 350, okay. So you're looking at 275 yeah, per person. Really Plus all your gear, yeah. yep, gotcha. Yeah. Um, right off the bat, man, this, this is pretty stable. It sits yeah. much higher than my Outback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, does. pretty yeah. interesting. Yeah, so you're, you're pretty yeah. high on it. It's wide, it's a short model. So you know how to adjust this? Do you know yeah, what size you it. want to be on? Yeah, I'm, I'm probably on, you try I'm going to be on four probably. No, actually I'm going to be on three. It's on five right now. Four, yeah. four is good. Yeah. So the rudder's already down. Gotcha. And all your steering's right here. Yeah. Sounds good, right? Where? Here. Gotcha. Steering yeah. right here. Yeah. Rudder down. Perfect. All right, man. Yeah. Let's do this. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Right at the bat, I can tell this thing is super nimble. Oh my gosh, it turns. Oh wow. That is very impressive. Here we go. 45 pounds. I expect this to be really fast. Yes, it is quick, man. Right at the bat, it has that get up speed right off the line. Super impressed so far. Like I said, 45 pounds, I mean, you gotta, you gotta deal with physics. When you have something this light, it's gonna move. When you compare it to like my Outback, my Outback's what, 120 pounds with the gear in it. I mean, this, this thing is super light. All right, here we go. We're gonna give it some juice here. It's moving, it's moving. We're in shallow water. What's so cool about this is very customizable here. You got uh, H, you got rails right here. You can put an H rail. I mean, deck padding. I mean, you can put up a stand-up bar. You can put so much stuff back here. And the rudder system too, it's cable and it's linked. This, this right here controls your rudder left and right. Pretty cool. Oh, let's stand up. Let's stand up. Let's see how this does. Okay, not too bad. Pretty easy to stand up because it already sits pretty high off the ground. I can see myself using this on shallow water oyster flats or mud flats like you see me do on a channel. And I am looking for redfish, looking, looking, looking. It's pretty stealthy, pretty quiet. Pretty, pretty cool, man. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I am actually pretty impressed, dude. What's very noticeable is when I am push-pulling myself or, you know, paddling while I'm standing up, how nimble and how straight it is. We have a good 10, 11 mile per hour when crossing this way. It is pushing me towards the shore more because how light it is, but it does, look at that, it just turns on the spot look at that it just it just wow it just turns whereas with my outback it takes a little more effort to turn away from an obstacle when i'm standing up stability wise not bad look at that i am 220 pounds and it's holding me pretty good i do have my sea legs i'm very experienced with a kayak so this might take a little bit of getting used to if you're brand new to kayaking but i don't think it's a very steep learning curve at all super easy man very, very impressive, very impressive. All right, the drive system is gonna be the regular Mirage 180 with kick-up fins here. Check that out, see it kicks up if you hit an obstacle, which is a bonus. It really works if you're fishing shallow or you're planning to hit the shallow flats. It doesn't come with turbo fins. You can add turbo fins, meaning that turbo fins will be a little bit longer and give you more I guess water displacement per, per stroke and make you go faster but as is it is pretty pretty quick man dude that is so quick not gonna lie very impressive and watch here we go we're gonna turn on the dime bam look at that Woo! you gotta be careful man it, it's if you turn too fast, you're going too fast, you're going to lose balance for sure. But I love it. I love that turn. The one one knack about my Hobie Outback 
is it just doesn't turn right away but this one on the other hand look at that it just turns that's very impressive whereas with my hobie outback it takes about a good 10 to 12 strokes of the drive system to get it starting to turn whereas this one it's immediate look at that it's immediate that's crazy man so you guys know i'm a saltwater fisherman inshore marsh fishing i tend to target shorelines a lot so i'm pretending this is a shoreline i'm casting 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 it's going to work out really well i love how the rudder system is like right here and not down here so it's easy to steer while throwing my lure and just working that lure on this thing pretty impressive the one question everyone asks is how is the stability with this with choppy water now that's going to be a good question because it is a paddle board type design where it's flatter the hole or the side the gunnels are not as i guess long long as compared to the outback or pro angler so handling chop is not going to be as good versus a bigger kayak like the hobie outback or the pro angler or even the compass so i would say this is a kayak for those looking for something that's easy want, want to get out really fast on the water you know throw it in the back of your truck because it's super light only 45 pounds get out fish a small pond fish a small lake you know pull it out and go home i mean it's super easy marsh system that's local i think this will work really well however if you're going to fish like west bay or san Luis pass or any other bases and that's not protected by the winds i probably recommend you going with a outback or compass or even pro angler the links would probably not be a good idea unless it's actually dead calm there's no wind this would be more like a second kayak towards for me this would be a great backup to use or i mean you can use this as your primary However, you know, you're going to be limited to those really, really windy days, choppy waters, open bay, you know what I mean? So this is just like any other drive system Hobie has. Reverse just like that. Boom, done. Reversing. Pull of a string. You got to be careful, man. It's super, super nimble. So therefore, if you turn too hard and you're going fast, you're going to lose your balance. Not to say you're going to flip, you're just going to feel a little tipsy. All right, here we go. There we go, right off the bat, immediate, immediate thrust. I love it, dude. I love it. I would say it's a little rocket, dude. What's that? It's a little rocket. A rocket? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's quick, man. Yeah. Ain't no lie. 